So let's get our geek on and talk about the tech trends that we learned from the Mobile World Congress 2017. And let's start with aspect ratios, specifically 18.9. It's no surprise here, we already knew that the LG G6 would adopt the 18.9 Univisium aspect ratio, which LG calls full vision. And during the Mobile World Congress, we got to hear more about why LG believes it's the future of entertainment on both large and small screens. We also know we can expect a similar 18.5.9 aspect ratio on the upcoming Galaxy S8, which is set to be unveiled on March 29th. We even got hints that Apple is planning the same aspect ratio for the upcoming 10th anniversary iPhone. Next up is shrinking bezels, and it's not just the side bezels, but those big ass chins are going bye bye. With the exception of Sony, which seems to be in love with their big top and bottom bezels, most Android OEMs are going for super thin side bezels and really pushing those bezels to the limit. LG has done a great job with the G6 and with the leaks of the S8, it seems like it's going to be incredibly futuristic. The Huawei P10 has a pretty microscopic side bezel and even Sony minimized side bezels to razor thin status on the Xperia XA1. And next up, HDR displays. HDR displays are going to be a big trend this year. Samsung put one in the Galaxy Tab S3, LG put one in the G6, and Sony put the world's first 4K HDR display on the Xperia XZ Premium. The Galaxy S8 looks like it should be a shoe in but we can't see any reason why other manufacturers won't do similar things in their 2017 flagships. Next up, fingerprint scanner. Gestures. Yeah, fingerprint scanner gestures can be fun and surprisingly intuitive to adapt to. Mizu phones have been doing scanner gestures for years and Huawei introduced the Mate S a couple of years back with gestures for scrolling through the interface and dragging down the notification shade, something we've also seen in the Pixels. But with Huawei and Motorola dropping phones with front mounted scanner gestures at the Mobile World Congress, it looks like this might be a thing. Now for a trend I know almost all of you care about and that is fast charging. Like big bezels, the days of wireless charging now seem to be behind us, as fast charging increasingly becomes the preferred standard over wireless charging. That trend is proprietary fast charging technology though. Watching battery charging demos is quite literally as boring as watching a battery charge. But what's going on inside these demos is actually pretty mind blowing. Obviously getting the edge over the rival's fast charging solution makes for a pretty compelling selling point. What am I personally excited about? Well, fast charging is a cool thing, I'm looking forward to that. But what I'm really looking forward to is someone to pull ahead and really make a leap forward in the world of wearables. I don't wanna carry around big clunky phones and tablets. I want something that's not gonna look geeky and scare my mother, but will still give me access to the internet without having to pull out this chunk of metal from my pocket. You know what I'm saying? So whether that's glasses that don't really look like geeky glasses because Snapchat's spectacles are, I don't even know. I feel like I live in the fricking twilight zone sometimes. Who is gonna wear that stuff? Who is gonna wear that stuff and be taken seriously? I don't know, I know Josh likes it, but. No. You guys remember from like 15 years ago when people were making money hands over fist in the dot com bubble? Remember we didn't call it a dot net bubble or dot org bubble? We didn't call them dot biz billionaires, we called them dot com billionaires. Cause that's the power of a dot com. Now why is that? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a dot com or dot net domain name. Dot com and dot net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. Save 15% on domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code Android at domain.com checkout. When you think domain names, think domain.com. 